The Pit is one of Hypixel's most insane game modes. Hackers, exploiters, botters, and dupers run rampant without consequence. In the more than four years that The Pit has been around, the leaderboards have been a constant reminder of who is at the top and the potential that lies for those willing to do the work, invest the time, or break the law to get there. My name is Sudi, and welcome as we explore the history of leaderboards on the Hypixel Pit and some of the craziest players the game has ever seen. The Pit was first released on February 26th, 2018, and the first day leaderboards were full of staff who got ahead because they played the game for testing. Within two days, MM ping a ding a ding. <coughs> reached the max level at 100 with 1 million XP. These days, level 100 only takes about 40,000 XP, but back then, that was the max. Players could gain XP beyond the 1 million mark, but they wouldn't get any levels. The next day, Connor Linfoot gave himself 5 million XP and was still level 100. Leaderboard positions are determined by who has the most XP, so players quickly began to stack up at above 1 million. On March 5th, the level cap increased to 120. The XP was reduced for each level and prestiges were added. When a player reaches level 120, they can prestige to reset back to zero and start over again and unlock the renown shop. Every prestige scales in XP and every five prestiges has a different bracket color. At the time, the max prestige was 20 and the leaderboards were based on the top players who logged in for that week. This meant if Misfortune didn't log in this week, Omnachi would be number one, Loxer number two, and so on. Sparnham became the first prestige one and revealed the blue prestige brackets. Not even 48 hours later, the player Advisha started to grind and became the very first Prestige 5, revealing yellow brackets. He was also the first Prestige 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. This is incredibly impressive, especially considering the number of cheaters at the top. Advisha became the first orange brackets on March 17th, as people discovered killstreaking to be the best strategy for leveling up. Two days later, Miniclune dropped the 0.3 update with a revamped map, pit events, and and most importantly, care packages, which had the potential to contain Prot 1 armor and Sharp 1 swords. This made streaking significantly easier, but also came at a higher risk. If a player died with those items and they didn't drop onto the ground, they were lost forever. Additionally, the max prestige was increased to 30. Advicia seemed unreachable. Unreachable until MSRF. MSRF was a UHC player who joined the pit and passed Advisha to become the first prestige 11, 12, 13, and 14. The race was on to get to 15, the new bracket color, and MSRF was in line for the throne. Yet somehow, just as he had surpassed Advisha, MSRF was usurped by Fan Far on Cry, who became the first prestige 15 on March 26th. He was a hardcore cheater, and for a while, he dominated the leaderboard. All eyes were on him to get to Prestige 20, but he disappeared from the top, possibly because he was banned. Looking here, we can see quite a few notable historic pit players. Duct Tape Digger ran a pit YouTube channel. Ben x 2 x is incredibly significant, and if you DM me asking why, I won't tell you. And just days after the 0.3 update, MC Panda stumbled upon the Ender Chest duplication glitch. The number 10 position here is held by Kaiba, who was an associate of mine. On April 5th, we built up to spawn and realized that the Impatient Renown perk, which gives permanent speed in spawn, could actually be abused in the general map. This meant that a player could get infinite speed no matter what, which made hunting incredibly easy. Even though the speed 2 glitch was significant, it had nothing on the exploit discovered the next day. Vietna, also known as Demon Doggo or 5000G, was using the Kung Fu Renown perk when he accidentally started killing everyone in a single hit. After confirming the method with MC Panda, he joined a call with Miniclun and reported the bug. Miniclun was pretty relaxed about the situation, so Vietna went around hunting people. He and Panda claimed many victims in the couple hours before Miniclun patched the exploit, and pretty soon Vietna was the first person to have two accounts on the leaderboards at the same time. 
He created the very first pit community discord, which had thousands of members before it was eventually nuked. During this time, a new player named Babs rose to the top and took Fan Faron Cry's place. He was also the most prominent victim of the Kung Fu exploit, uploading a video about it on April 7th. Two days after that, Babs reached number one and less than a week later became the first Prestige 20 with purple brackets. Babs was the first epic pit YouTuber, but only made a handful of videos. One of the first pieces of viral pit content was the video Babs made on the Beast event as a Prestige 21, and he gained thousands of views. Each new bracket color reveal is a massive deal, especially as players climbed this high in the Prestiges. Babs was the primary candidate in line to reach Prestige 25, and he did, right? Everyone saw the new color was pink, but crazily enough, on May 11th, the leaderboards messed up and showed everyone to have five more Prestiges than they actually did. Due to the repetitive nature of the game, the prevalence of hackers and cheaters, and the lack of updates, Babs stopped playing the pit forever on May 6th. He never ended up reaching pink brackets, so this leaderboard was nothing but a dream. After Babs left the game, a player named Ketchup then passed him and stayed at number one for months. Eventually Ketchup changed her name to Woolsey, and she gained prestiges faster than anyone had before. Somehow, Woolsey seemed to tear right through the gold requirements to start streaking immediately after reaching level 120. Was she using an exploit? <laughs> yes, I'll get to that in a minute. Two weeks after Babs left forever, I was bounty hunting when I ran across a player named Angification who reached 6th on the leaderboards by cheating incredibly hard. He and I were acquaintances and I saw him doing something quite suspicious. Angification was killing players and tossing golden heads, G heads, into a hole in an obsidian wall he built. He messaged me to leave, but I figured out what he was doing. Normally, players can only hold a couple G heads at a time, but Angification was tossing them on the ground. After he created a sizable collection, he went there and placed the G heads from his hotbar into the crafting grid. This bypassed the G head limit, and through this method, players could hold an infinite amount of golden heads. If they switched to the vampire perk before picking up the G heads, they could streak with unlimited healing. Around this time, Wolsey, who had been number one for a few weeks, reached Prestige 25 to become the first real player with pink brackets on June 4th. Prestiging has both an XP and gold requirement, where players have to collect a certain amount of gold throughout the prestige in order to continue. Like XP, the gold rec increases each prestige and becomes incredibly sizable at the upper levels. During this era of the pit, there was no easy way to collect gold. Kills gave a little, and bounty hunting was incredibly inefficient. Thus, Wolsey turned to an illegal method. She, Automize, and a number of other players used a bounty duplication glitch with acute efficiency, earning hundreds of thousands of gold per hour. Through this and relentless streaking, Wolsey reached Prestige 30, the highest possible in the pit at the time, and became the very first white brackets in the entire game. Wolsey later sold her account to someone else, but it was still up on the leaderboards. Just three days after she reached Prestige 30, the Mystic update dropped and the game changed forever. The new update brought enchants like Sweaty, Moctezuma, and Gold Boost. These suddenly made gathering gold and XP significantly easier, but it still took my friend OTDX several months to get Prestige 30. Before he reached level 120 though, he got banned for a year. XX Mining Pro was another leaderboard player whose main was permanently banned, so he boosted other people, including Angification, Minor Event, and MC Panda. Mining Pro eventually got an alt named Ninja Turtle, loaded it up with God Mystics, and reached number 4 in December 2018. Mining then renamed the account to Flora Sky. After the New Year's came and went, Xrosh was the third person to get Prestige 30, and a month later Flora Sky became the fourth. Cheaters and abusers maxed out first, like Wolsey, OTDX, Sir Deadly, and Katie Khan, but eventually the no-life, legitimate grinders reached the top as well. On June 12th, Major Event was unbanned by Miniclune, and he started to grind for leaderboards. Major had been permanently banned for abusing the double login exploit, and played on alts until this point. He made highlights 
highlight montages of his prestige journey and got tens of thousands of views on YouTube. Major took until October of 2019 to reach max, became the 11th White Brackets player, and the leaderboard was from then on full of prestige 30s. More than a year after Woolsey initially hit max, her account was still at number one. As time went on, more and more people maxed out. It was super difficult to get there, but nonetheless, there were 19 prestige 30 players at level 120. Many people quit, not thinking there was anything left in the game for them, and that Woolsey would stand at the top until the end of time. But then, quick patch. Six lines of text from Miniclune changed everything. Hello. Changes. Added prestiges 31 to 35. Never mind, this just got real. With those five words, the race to the top was revitalized. The gold requirement for Prestige 31 was 10 million, and the game was on. HX Pulsefire learned of this and became the first Prestige 31 since he already had the requirement grinded. Okay, I can Prestige now. <laughs> Okay. HX getting 31 was monumental, not because he was at the top of the leaderboards, but this was the first time in a year and a half when Woolsey wasn't in first place. Three other people were prepared to prestige right then, Woolsey, Scritty, and Katie Khan. Cade was banned so he couldn't prestige, and Woolsey hadn't been seen in months. As players discovered, Prez 31 through 35 all had the same XP requirement, but the gold requirements were actually insane. As such, players only streaked for gold, never for XP. To get from Prez 30 to 35 in gold alone requires over 70 million. By April, the top 10 players were all prestige 31, but their goal was to reach the new max at Prez 35, level 120. In the race to number one, a single player stood out as a primary contender, Godhack. He was the best grinder after Miniclune's quick patch, had an insane gold grinding set, and played 15 hours a day. He took the lead to become the first Prestige 32, and was gaining XP and gold so quickly that the Huntsman group thought he was account sharing. As Godhack was grinding for Prez 33, a new challenger approached, a gender. A gender was Katie Khan's second account, which he bonded up to a high prestige and shared with minor event. They cheated harder than almost anyone in the game and permanently hunted Godhack. Anytime Godhack was on, a gender was there to ruin him, so much so that Godhack couldn't streak at all. All. On top of this, Agender, Prez28 at the time, started going for leaderboards himself. Because of the desperate situation, HX told Godhack, Oh, the Huntsmen think you're account sharing? Then just start doing it for real. Godhack then gave his account to his brother Warp Event, but Agender was still catching up. The Huntsmen were using a new exploit that shook the game to its core, the critically rich Wolfpack exploit. Using this glitch, a player could gain gold far faster than streaking, and do it completely AFK. For the next two weeks, the cops and huntsmen were crit-riching 24-7, using multiple people to grind the accounts. They also b-hopped to try sabotage the other side. At the time on Pit Panda, the top two searched accounts were Godhack and Agender because of how much the pit cops and huntsmen were checking the other's gold requirements. When the 1.0 update dropped, the crit-rich wolf exploit was patched and Godhack was in the lead at Prestige 33. The update brought in new streaking metas, making XP and gold grinding significantly easier. Godhack wasn't motivated to play as much, so on March 27th, a week after the update, a gender passed him and was on pace to become the first Prestige 35. However, just days later, a gender got banned for cheating. Can we get an L spam going in chat? Minor Event then got on the grind, and KatieCon harassed Godhack on b-hopping alts like Smiling Imp and Yanelli, to the point where Godhack was stuck at Prestige 34. Minor Event, through sheer insanity, Streaking 15 hours a day with the protection of Fishdoop Fishdoop, maxed out on May 12th and discovered the new Aqua Brackets. Soon after this, the tactical insertion glitch was discovered and only Skelet used it to become the second person to max. Then came OTDX and Godhack was fourth. Of the top 10 people to max, Miner, Major, and Tyler P13 are the only ones who didn't abuse the tactical insertion glitch on their mains. OTDX thus gave godly mystics to his alt Oliver Tron DX, which he grinded incessantly. He took 11 days to reach Prestige 30 and another 2 weeks to get to 35. OTDX and some huntsmen realized that gold nano factories, which spawned 7 gold ingots on the ground, lagged out lobbies a ton when a whole bunch were dropped at the same time. This had the potential to 
crash lobbies, and if that occurred, that meant they could duplicate items. Due to the frame rate lag caused by the items, their computers weren't able to handle enough ingots to crash a lobby, but they instead abused another feature. When a raffle major event starts, all the naturally spawning gold ingots in the lobby turn into raffle tickets. This also happens with ingots spawned by Gold Nano Factory as well. Abusing this feature, OTDX earned the raffle ticket world record of 2,203 tickets. The Huntsman leveled up another account named Solo Glart to Max and did this again with Jessica and several other accounts before they had a massive conflict and split off. 75 players stacked up at Prestige 35, and so it remained this way until November 18th, 2021. On that date, Minikloon dropped the 1.0.5 tryhard patch, which added prestiges all the way up to 50. With this, the gold requirements actually lowered, and the new problem was XP. As the prestige numbers go up into the 45s, the XP required absolutely skyrockets. Take a look at this scaling here. Max level requires 11 billion XP. HX Pulsefire was the first Prestige 36, and he reached number 1 on the leaderboards using the Participation XP exploit in the month after the update was released. He reached Prez 40, revealing the dark blue brackets on January 22nd of this year, and was eventually overtaken by I'm Harry SMH, who used a combination of Participation XP and Silent Botting to get to number 1. Harry made the monumental achievement of reaching Prestige 45 and discovered black brackets. It took him until September 2022 to attain this, so you can imagine how long that took. As I write this, he's a Prestige 47, and the only other black brackets in the game is HX with Prez 45. Recently, Harry hit 1 billion XP on November 3rd, but the leaderboard says 1G, and that's where we stand today. I don't know if anyone will ever reach Prestige 50, but until then, the bracket color there remains a mystery. Thank you very much for watching, and if you don't subscribe, a gender will hunt you in your sleep.